I've often said that when one gets a cold, one needs to take three days off work. When you get flu, you need to take a week off work. And now, if you get COVID, you need to take two weeks off work. I haven't said the two week bit, but all the medical people have said, well, you need to have two week of isolation or confinement to recover, not to infect other people on the one hand, but on the other hand, to make sure that you have time for your body to recover. Recovering means covering itself up and getting rid of the toxins. In fact, you don't, you can't get rid of the toxins. The toxins are still there. The flu, the cold, the bacteria, the viruses, they're all still there. They don't go away. All that happens. And then when I say all that happens, I don't mean that in a small way. I actually mean that in the biggest possible way is that our body learns how to fight these toxins, builds immunity. Now it seems that with medicine and with people and with bosses, with companies and with life and with work, that our highest priority is to work, 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 and not to have a break. Yet the simple thing of your body sneezing and mucus running out of its nose and needing to stay away from people or getting diarrhea and your body wanting to expel something the other side or your body getting a temperature and wanting to fight something and build immunity. We take drugs immediately so we can be at work as soon as possible. But that's not looking after our bodies long term. I mean, what do we want? We want to retire at 65 and be dead by 66 because all of a sudden we have time to, to, for our bodies to catch up with all of that sickness. No, we don't want that. We want to live good, long, healthy, wonderful, lively lives. And if we need to be sick, then that's fine. That's part of life. The bacteria and the viruses and the pains, they're all part of life. They're all part of this, this living that we do here on earth. We live with them. So now you get a, a nose starts running. You take a pull to stop it running so that you can be at work the next day. Your blood pressure goes up. If, any, if your pressure goes up for any reason, it means something, a problem somewhere, something's got to be released. The best thing to do is have a break. I'm not saying it's the only thing to do. I'm saying it's the first thing to do. Have a break, relax, slow down, get away from the computers, or take your phone with you if, it, if you like watching YouTube as I do, or reading the news, or seeing what's happening in the world, or learning something new. Everything's on your phone these days. University of Life is on your phone. Fine. Enjoy your time. But do what I'm doing this month, for example. I'm having a month off, but it's not a month of lying on the beach. It's a month of catching up with all the things I need to catch up with. It's a month of doing my own projects. It's a month of learning new things. It's a month of spending more time with my friends and my family. So, I'm not saying if you get a high fever, you need not to do something about it. Of course you need to do something about it. I'm not saying you don't need to take drugs. I'm not saying that medicine is bad. Just saying we need to look, keep looking at the big picture. The simple cold is saying, take a three-day break. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, that's what I do. Either Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Saturday, Sunday, Monday, one day of work. If I get flu, I try not to take any antibiotics. Or I take natural antibiotics. Anti means against. Body comes from bios, which means life. So, antibiotic means against life. So it's not just against the, the disease that's striking me, this ease. It's also against the good things that are in my body. And my body needs to build immunity. And I live in a city, so therefore I do take a lot of extra nutrition, such as vitamin C and folate, omega-3. Quite a few things. Magnesium, calcium. I take them because I live in the city. If I lived in the 
farm, I wouldn't need it. I try to be as healthy as possible with what I eat and drink, what I think. And what I breathe. And if you get COVID, we've seen that the med medical fraternity say we should have a two week break. You have the two week break, you get better. But now, everybody's trying to get an injection so that I need to take the two-week break. But if you don't take the two-week break, what happens later? Five years, 10 years, 15 years. My personal opinion, and it's my opinion, is that when you don't allow yourself to take that break, the three days or week or two weeks, to convalesce, to recuperate, you're going to ask for worse problems going down the line. Please think about this. Please don't rush to solve problems by getting an injection or by taking a tablet that dries up your nose. If you need to do that, you obviously need to do that to save your life. But most of the time, when our temperature goes up one or two degrees, it's just because our body needs to expel the toxin. When our temperature goes up one degree, our metabolism doubles. When it goes up two degrees, our metabolism's gone up four times compared to normal. Our body knows what to do. We just don't want to give it the time to do it. COVID has taught us the value of time. It's taught us that we're all going to die. Most people think live without thinking they're ever going to die. Are we all going to die? We need to be prepared for that. We need to look at what the benefits are that COVID has brought us. Have we learned anything from it? Or are we just trying to go back to an old world? where more and more people are unemployed, more and more people are unemployable, fewer people are rich. And there's so many positives that can come out of this if we just look for them. So if we need to be sick, if we live with sickness, then let's find ways to build our immunity because we can't get rid of the sicknesses. Everything is still there. Everything is still here. The viruses, the bacteria, the poisons, not saying we should eat poison, obviously we don't want to eat poison. That's seriously stupid. But the things that float in the air, they're always floating in the air, and our bodies have learned how to deal with them. Our bodies have learned how to deal with billions of bacteria. And there are things we can do to get rid of heavy metals. We can do detoxes. We can do colon irrigations and cleanses. We can do fasts. There's so much we can do to build our immunity and to be healthy. Let's do that instead of rushing to be at work tomorrow. Thank you.